welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new <laughs> podcast. It's All You Garbage. Yeah. I'm your host, H. Foley, sitting directly across from me, self-appointed piece of trash from Northeast Philadelphia, Kevin Ryan, everybody. Hey, guys. Happy to be here. Uh, real quick to the listeners, uh, please uh, leave a rate and review real quick. Jump on that. That's important to get this puppy off the ground. You know what I mean, Cannon? Five stars. Algorithm, kid. Rate and review, even if you don't like it. Rate and review it. You know what I mean? Just get them numbers up. Let me tell you pieces of shit something. <laughs> Fucking subscribe to this goddamn thing. Rate and review it and share it because we're tanking over here. <laughs> I'm sick of this. <laughs> Five years. Uh, to tell a friend that put the fucking money in the basket. <laughs> oh, are you considering all the podcasts to be one joint podcast? Five years? I'm considering seven years he of doesn't trial really under- and error. He doesn't really understand what a podcast is, to be honest with you. <laughs> this is new, right? Yeah, this is it's new. It's brand okay, new. Nice. It's brand new. You're like Creed Bratton of podcasts. Like somebody- <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I can get you one. <laughs> somebody opened up a Word doc and said, go ahead. Oh, my hey, God. Get your thoughts out. This is going to nobody. You rented it's just studio a- time for nothing. It ends up on a thumb drive somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a team, it, a team like of Jumanji. doctors on the other side of the window just studying everything that I say. You guys are actually both psychiatrists. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that voice you hear is our very special guest this week on Are You Garbage? It's our good friend. He has a brand new special out Woo! on YouTube right now. Ooh, yeah. It's called Life Begins. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mike Cannon. Oh, my goodness. Self-appointed piece of trash as well. Yeah, Ooh, that's, why that's, we got, yeah. that's why we got you early. Yeah, I'm like, you know up. who's garbage? <laughs> Mike Cannon. You know who stinks? <laughs> we did three We did three pretty one, pretty, we did three pretty close to home guests for the first three episodes. Okay. Well, we knew it wasn't too much of a mystery. Gotcha. Did he in finance? Yeah. Uh, he's <laughs> garbage. He is trash. pure uncut. He's like the cocaine they made in the beginning of Glow. <laughs> Test one hundred percent blue yeah, or whatever. Just absolute uh, trash. He's yeah. such garbage that you could get hit, you could get him yourself, cut him up, and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You could add baking you could, soda. You could, yeah, you could step on him and sell more garbage. <laughs> yeah, his gener- <laughs> <laughs> generations after him for yeah. probably the next four, four, five hundred years. He's blue garbage. magic garbage. <laughs> yeah. Trash. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's trash. And then we had a little Canadian garbage. Oh, and who's that? See if you can guess. Is it Nathan? Yeah, Nathan. Nathan. Yeah. My yeah. first guess would have been Alex Pavone. You think so? He's trash. Yeah. Alex is Good tra- friend of ours. But Alex like Alex has this weird thing where he is trash, right? Clearly, very clearly yeah. he's trash, but outside of that he's also Italian, but like Italy Italian. Sure, yeah. Like, so it's a little not... different. There's there's also a thing between like trash and like oh, my parents are immigrants, you know what exactly. I mean? It's, it's yeah. like the same thing. <laughs> it's and the same thing because it's just like different customs and, and now like, it's a delicate subject. Yeah, now so exactly. Have to, like, you yeah, know, yeah, pay yeah, homage yeah. to whatever horse shit he believes. Sure, for <laughs> sure, for sure. Do you think you're you think you're garbage? Do you think you're yeah, garbage? Yeah. This is my thing. You grew up garbage. My dad's from Levittown, Long Island, <laughs> and my mother is that's from... That's it. Can we rap right here, pal? Yeah, What's yeah. up? My mother's from Jersey, so uh, I am, you you're, know... You're in, yeah, that's yeah. in there. I grew up outside of, uh, like, do you know where Highland Falls or West Point, actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful up there. So West Point is beautiful. Highland <laughs> Falls... Live in the slums. I, yeah, yeah, well, the town... It's so funny because you drive to West Point, and West Point is this like Magnificent. unreal, natural, like, like on like mountains. cliffs yeah. and shit. It's unbelievable. It's crazy. Everybody is like the you know as as sure. disciplined and mm-hmm. beautiful as possible. Then the town to drive through it <laughs> is <laughs> Highland Falls, yeah, which is like almost eight mile, dude. It's like hardcore. Then there's the cannons on the front porch, <laughs> like dude, the, the best selling thing. fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had, with like one fucking uh, one strap over in our overalls yeah, yeah, off, yeah but it wasn't yeah, fashionable yeah. Had, like no shoes mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah it was like you know there was the fucking hardcore urban people slinging crack that yeah. type of shit near the school and then outside of that was you know straight up trailer park to really i didn't yeah. realize you were from that far up yeah yeah well uh, i was oh, born you're, in you're, manhattan okay and then uh my parents lived in the west village and then that was the first place that i lived gotcha. it, but my dad was still commuting into the city 
every day. So he was like driving an hour, hour Jesus and a half Christ. into the city. Yeah, it's like no yeah. wonder he was pissed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not at one point in that commute was he like, "Can I move closer to this?" Yeah, he just, yeah. So well, he couldn't just, afford it at yeah. the time. So he was a bartender, still I think trying to be an actor, but he had no like work ethic or anything like that. So yeah. he just kind of sat on his ass while sure. doing well Wait, and bartending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> and yeah. Uh, then he became a stockbroker because ah. he could just keep doing cocaine, but in a suit. Sure. Nice. Yeah. Was that in like the eighties or nineties? When it was, was in the nineties. So it was yeah. pump and dump. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. Like, it was like junk bonds and stuff. Yeah. It was like, hey, if you have a tie and a white collared shirt, you can be a stockbroker. Exactly. I can thing. see the yeah. suits now. The suits were nice. Fucking. Oh, and they three button, and killing. they went after actors because they were like, you guys talk. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You must have a little bit. You're of You're free during the day, type yeah. thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do it. For, I'll do it for a couple of weeks to get yeah. on my feet. You know? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I went there too with my dad when I was like nine, ten years old. I would mm-hmm. go with him to work. And what did he work? Did he work on the floor? No, he he worked in like the East Village, so he, he, he was like, <laughs> yeah, you, you know that was, financial powerhouse in the back of some grocery store. <laughs> I mean, it was boiler room. It was right tea. next to a short order cook or something. <laughs> you know, not cigarette machines, his desk. <laughs> Yeah, it was an hey, offshoot. If you're not buying anything, lobby. you gotta get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> That's funny. Oh yeah, but I, you know, it's like cunt this, fuck that, all that stuff, sure. and I'm just like young and being like, this, this is, is unbelievable. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I watched. Like, I have this memory, but you never know if it's made up or I not. Know. I know. I have so many of those. But I, 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 my father's coworker. I know this happened, and I'm pretty sure I was there. I mm-hmm. watched a guy get cuffed by the FBI. <laughs> wow. And brought out of the. Well, FBI. I feel anytime. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. I did that a lot. Anytime you go to work with your parents, that's like a pretty good indicator that you're trash. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because it's like there's one, there's no babysitter or like (laughs) they have these weird hours. Dude, you know how many times I just sat in an office and just like (laughs) – (laughs) <laughs> would just like wander around, smoke cigarettes with dude, some I would, of the people. Dude, my dad, he was the owner of like a HVAC company, and okay. it was like like pure guard, like blue collar. And then he got a little bit of money. He's like, "We're doing it," and then it ended up being like a whole house of cards. Love the new money. <laughs> new money's all right. Oh, Tell dude. me, new money ain't good. Oh, yeah, dude. Cars getting repoed oh, in the middle of the night, the and we were yeah. new money, yeah, like yeah. new money. And I would just go to work with them, be going through people's <laughs> desks and shit, and I was just oh, like, yeah, I was fucking, best. I didn't know anything. You Your know? hands were smaller though; it could fit into tighter space. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, dude, I was just eating people. I was like a fat kid rum, rummaging through everybody's desks on Saturdays. <laughs> when I was a little kid, my dad, uh, he was stationed at, uh, at at a naval base called Avoca in Wilkes-Barre. It was nowhere near. You know near. that big naval, that naval nowhere compound near. in Wilkes-Barre? Any Wilkes, water. Wilkes-Barre stinks. Oh, that's what, dude, I was born there. That's mountain no, track. I mean, I was just there. My sister used to go to the music uh, camp. During the summer, so Wilkesbury Music Camp okay. it was at I think the college, and it's actually like a prestigious. Well, there's some nice under... colleges up there, I think. Yeah, King's yeah. College. Yeah, there's, there's some uh, nice colleges up yeah. there. There's but the Vry. I mean, but again, it's... it's like the people that live by the college are fucking trash. Right, right. You know what and I, mean? I performed in Mohegan Sun, so who knows? I got a weird sliver of what's out there. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah, straight yeah. up Chernobyl, USA. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The mutants fucking sucking down cigs and with the other hand an oxygen tank. <laughs> Backwoods. The crazy yeah. thing is, back in the day, in the fifties and sixties, the forties, whatever, it was a powerhouse. It was a fucking Huge bottling industry, huge train industry, huge trucking industry. Coal was huge up there. It was all nice. Quit bragging. <laughs> you sound we like the big. narrator of a documentary. <laughs> I know. For Wilkes Barre, a certain was element. It was a bastion of Americana. <laughs> <laughs> Bottles as far as the eye could see. <laughs> White faces everywhere. And then these homos developed in <laughs> cycling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then it all just went downhill. Fucking just, PVC. Just <laughs> Goddamn Asians and their better products. That's <laughs> <laughs> what tanked the whole U.S. was PVC pipe. <laughs> yeah. and it's so crazy that we literally bombed the competition, the Germans and the Japanese, back into the Stone Age during World War II. It took them like 20 years. Took, to yeah, yeah, 15 yeah. years to come back and be like, ah, oh, thanks for that speed yeah, bump they, they gave they us. Now a tough we'll time rebuilding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. i tell you what, though. The 80s were all right. <laughs> <laughs> it was all worth it. It was all worth it just for the fucking eighties in every capacity. I mean, it looked cool in the movies. I didn't get to experience it, but it looked like wide open. Yeah, yeah, it looked same. like the Wild oh, Wild dude, West. Uh-huh. It was fucking nice. <laughs> Sleeping good under the watchful eye of Ronald Reagan. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Little fat kid Uncle Hank in his crib. <laughs> nine, nine, nine. Uh, uh, good night, Vice President Bush. That's Bush. great. Oh, that's good stuff. Yeah. Man. Yes, but Wilkes-Barre is trash, but, but my dad, uh, he was stationed at Avoca for a long time, and it, they had, like, things there. You know what I mean? Like, they had, like, trucks and stuff like that, and I remember him taking us to work, and me and my brother literally playing around, like, munitions crates. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I swear to God. They were on a tight bombs, ship up there. Bombs Hell yeah. yeah. 
like just like like twisting the things and turning them and all that stuff, climbing over things. It was awesome. That's fun when you realize the things that you considered normal in your childhood. Yeah, and you, you know, we oh, we get a course. chance to bounce everything that's got that's happened to us off of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that helps. I don't know about you, but it helps me kind of you know Underst- square away what's normal and what's fucked. Of up. course, that's well. That's kind of where this came from. So there's like a game. There's like a twenty question game we'll mm-hmm. play at the end. It's uh, but um. That's kind of where this came from. Like we realized, we're like, oh, we're all fucking trash. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. Like you think I'm like, ah, I'm all right, and then I look back, I'm like, <sighs> <laughs> I grew up driving a forklift as a kid, right. like for fun. I'm like, yeah. ah, I'm fucking garbage. Hell Have you yeah. ever spent an extended amount of time on a high reach or a, a forklift? <laughs> You're fucking trash. Didn't everybody go to AA with their dad <laughs> when they were four? Didn't they? When did you start working? What was your first job? Fifteen, I think, or. Maybe a little early. Fifteen, I think. I busboyed. Busboy is always the go the go to. Yeah, yeah, and then I also did. Um, That's the gateway in the garbage. Because you see, <laughs> you see, like, because you've never been yeah. behind the scenes at a restaurant before. And then all of a sudden, you got the slop plates and all. Oh, that you stuff. fucking! You it, see how people really are. First time you make coleslaw, you want to take. Fuck that! You recognize exactly what a restaurant is. Yeah. And it is barely a kitchen. No. Folks, oh yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. Folks, if you've ever made coleslaw, you're fucking garbage. Yeah. Take it out. Yeah, you just must. Massage mayonnaise into oh. char- or carved lettuce that you just did. <laughs> Remember with the a sweet turkey slicer. Remember the sweet waitress that you thought was so nice when you were a little kid, and you get a job at the place, and you see what she's really like. Scratch yeah. off lottery tickets, change. Oh, oh yeah. you realize the Three owner's husbands. been putting out cigars in her pussy for the last two and a half years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cranking Marlboro five thousands out back, just like you want one, sweetheart. I'm like, I'm twelve, I guess. Yeah, pass it over. I remember working with with, with older waitresses like that, and they would just come in in a bad mood. like career yeah, waitresses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. career. Yeah. There's a <laughs> There's the attitude of a career waitress that will never ever. My aunt's a career bartender, and, and it's you like, get it. Yeah, oh for sure. I mean, as a career comedian. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you see where this could where, go. Of course. Of and like course. being a career waitress at a place where you're about to like maybe clear a hundred on a good night. <laughs> if you do that, like that's that's a mindset of a comedian that is doing a hundred dollar road gig. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. It's the same thing. Well, there's also there's like a there's like the big bubble, or it's like. The, the career waitress, is, is the tail end of that is tough. You yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah, it's typically yeah. like a good-looking chick in her 20s, there, and she's just like, yeah. dude, they're <laughs> yeah, real She good looks look. like the lady that did the cigarettes in the commercial. Some yeah. of her fingers are full length. <laughs> Most of them aren't. Yeah, by the end of it. Yeah. But in the beginning, dude, they're making like they fucking. them doing a tartufo. <laughs> <laughs> Little Brat's birthday. Uh, Cut it on a tartufo. <laughs> but like they're making like you know a fit. They're making like twelve hundred bucks a weekend cash, yeah. and they're like this. It's like stripper money. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? All of a sudden, yeah, yeah. like it lasts a little longer than a stripper because they're like into your thirties and forties. But mm-hmm. then at some point, you're just this fifty year old person trying to make a hundred bucks yeah. like on like you know wing night or something like that. That's tough. And their it's advice is tough. unforgiving. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> the advice that I've gotten from career waitresses. They don't hold any punches. I'm just like yeah, you know. So whatever you're thinking right now, that's not it. <laughs> They're like, just no. Like, it's going to be a life of hurt. <laughs> yeah, for a life of hell forever. Yeah. They're like, like you know how people in movies, they show you falling down a cliff and then they <laughs> cut yeah. and then you're at the bottom? Life is There's in no bottom. The yeah, cut. yeah, 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 exactly. There's no bottom. You're just yeah. tumbling you're forever. You're just falling and hitting every I'm just rock. like peak, you know, fucking Con Ed bill, fucking car insurance bill, just fucking whacking you on the head. Michael, don't ever get lured by a man with journey tickets. I'll tell you that right now, okay? He's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Some chick that got banged in a truck at a six sticks concert oh, yeah. or something like that. But dude, I had no idea. You like- know my aunt, <laughs> <laughs> Aunt Sally. What up, girl? Don't you have true? Aunt, don't, no. don't you have? I mean, aunt? probably. I have enough aunts that it's. Dude, my mom's one of nine. Oh no! Just on my my, my mom's dad's one of eight. So it's like, dude, yeah. we are like ticks in Philadelphia. It's like are you Irish, Irish, yeah, yeah Irish, Irish Catholic. people can't yeah, yeah, glove yeah, yeah. up because otherwise, uh, yeah, it's, it's they, they sacrilege. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, so my my grandmother, my dad's mother, she uh, almost died during mm-hmm. her seventh uh, pregnancy and birth. Jesus Christ! And uh, right after that, like during the thing, she you know gave birth, and they're like, if you if you get pregnant again, you'll die. Mm-hmm. Like, this, you know, you 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 can't get pregnant. Sure. Again. So my grandfather, obviously. Don't you fucking tell me what to do with your <laughs> fucking bastard, yeah. Well, this is how this is how guilt-ridden and deep this shit runs. She goes to her priest and is like, can I, oh, or has Jesus. the priest come into her hospital bed? Uh. And is like, can I get my fucking tubes tied? So like. Uh, so, and, yeah, so and, I don't and, have to fucking do this anymore? Yeah, this so I don't crazy. have to go through this to save my life, basically. And the priest, they are such uh, cunts. Yeah, dude, they're fucking like, cocksuckers. Yeah, it's God's will. 
It's uh, whatever will be, will, will be, be if you die. Yeah. You die. What a fucking bullshit excuse yeah. of like, ah, if you die, eh, it's, I'm good yeah, with yeah. it. You know and what also, I mean? we'll be totally fine with when she is die. You know, when she does die, not to take any of those kids in. Sure. And oh let yeah. My yeah. grandfather struggle. Just, just struggle for the rest <laughs> of his life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Both having to watch them. Yeah, and here drown provide. for the next yeah. twenty years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's fucking. It's ri- it's ridiculous. Yeah, real pieces of shit. Dude, one time we were. <laughs> <laughs> they really he's probably fingering one kid when he's fucking oh, for telling sure. your grandmother. Yeah, yeah. When we're such fucking guard, like my fam, there's so many of us. Wait, I wanted to ask you, because don't you have an aunt that has like a name that's not a real name? Oh, I got a couple ants. Hey, yeah, anytime you have an ant with like a yeah, nickname. This, like I, this okay. is garbage. You have this? Cause like I'm just Cincinnati? Gonna be thinking, <laughs> <laughs> aunt Cincinnati. <laughs> hey, Aunt Cleveland, get over here. Yeah, she's from Texas. Uh, no, I got an Aunt Soupy. Yeah, yeah oh. shit like that. I got an Aunt Quinny. That's not her name. Her name's no. like Kathleen. Oh. <laughs> there's a couple other that I can't think aunt of. Whistles? Dude, that's like a real Boston, Philadelphia. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's fucking it's real like the, trashy yeah, fucking, yeah. yeah. Aunt Soupy, Aunt Quinny, and there's aunt Cookie. Another. Yeah, all, hey, you if you got an Aunt Cookie, she was a, a fucking... Cookie? What's Quinny? Because I Suvi, I assume she just threw hot beef barley in some <laughs> yes, yes, bartender's <laughs> face. Threw some sort of stew at somebody? Yeah. I threw shepherd's pie in a man's face when he was being fresh. <laughs> That's how I got me named Soupy. <laughs> um, but one time we were out at a bar. It was like me, it was like me and my brother, uh, and we were all like fucked up. Shout out to Mad River, Old City, Philadelphia. Oh, yeah. Real fucking oh, trashy. Yeah. Like, yeah. put on your best button up. Oh, those are my your favorites. Your fucking light denim jeans and I just, like, those. go to town, you know? Jersey oh, yeah. Shore was fucking hot on MTV back Yeah, then. a bunch of, like, Red Bull and Vodkas, and yeah, we yeah. were just fucking, you know. A lot of hair gel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of and blowouts, a lot of fucking cha- cheap change. Oh, for sure. A lot sure. of fights. For sure. Yeah, a lot you're of not fights. fucking your fight. You're not fucking your fight, for sure. A lot of bad fights. We were there, and this there was a bachelorette party, like, as well, and they were like, oh, we need somebody to dance on or whatever. You know, we need... Yeah. The bachelorette has to give somebody a lap dance, like to market off her fucking bullshit list or sure. whatever, Hillary. whatever, whatever game they play. You know the game where they try to get the woman to cheat on her husband. Sure, that game. Yeah, that game. That's a matrimony. great game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, a bunch of <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> night before they get. <laughs> <laughs> you said it here. <laughs> Take it easy, Ted Bundy. <laughs> <laughs> but your whores, you'll all pay. <laughs> I'm sorry, what were you talking about? <laughs> no, back to, back to your family, Kevin. Uh, <laughs> fucking skirks. Uh, but no shit. Yeah. It's yeah. Fucking... But, uh, <laughs> so then she, they, they were like, all right. So, like, they're like, they like grabbed me and I'm like sitting there. And then, they're, like, the, the bachelorette comes out of the bathroom and she's like, <laughs> giving, trying to give you like a terrible lap dance or whatever. Is she attractive? Absolutely not. No. Cut to, we find out, I hear. So one of the girls, like, she was in the bathroom or something. She, another One of the girls that wasn't there when they chose me to give me the lap dance comes up. She goes, Kevin, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, this isn't, like, you know. And I'm Who's like. Who's that? It was my cousin. Here, the girl oh, giving me the I lap dance was, was, like, related to me. <laughs> hey! and I'm just like, All right, here we go. Let's get the fuck out of here. She's like, that's Uncle Dennis's nephew's kids. So I'm like, all right. Here we are. Oh, my no, God. no, no, no. I don't she wasn't, like, lap dance. Yes. It was, like, it was like you know, oh, it was really like, bad. A big floppity <laughs> mask right in front of you. And you're like, Jesus, lady. So often love- the sunset. <laughs> It was, my, it was my aunt potato. <laughs> I've recently read. I've recently read. It's not that bad to have sex with like your second or third. Where'd you cousin. hear that? Pornhub. What the fuck? Who told you that one? A couple of <laughs> your your cousin, your second cousin. A couple of periodicals. I, sub- <laughs> I subscribe to some literature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking I get a pamphlet. Fucking cousins quarterly. Yeah. Sex yeah. in vogue. Do you think that's bad? Having sex with your third cousin? Uh, do what you got to do, buddy. I mean, you know, it's not something I'd aim if for. You... <laughs> I'd, I'd try. I'd try my yeah, best to clear the you, family. As, you know. Well, you aim for a first cousin. If you yeah, fall yeah. on a third cousin, it but happens, that said, you know I mean? would be going against my entire family's heritage because in Ireland, both my mom's side and my dad's side are from like very similar areas, oh, and just yeah, being yeah. Irish in general, we are a product of hundreds of years, oh, years. of inbreeding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, are we? Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, yeah. That explains a huge head. Look at us. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us. Like you know, we we consider. You think this head was pulled from two different gene pools? <laughs> you got, yeah, you're fucking no way. This is, With our sunken eyes. <laughs> yeah. No I way! I didn't know dude. that. I didn't know that we were. What are we fucking bulldogs? Well, it was over just here? like clans, like the you know, like towns next to each other, yeah. and it was just like overlapping. You know, oh, you, you do what you gotta do. It's fucking raining. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they got potatoes. You know what I mean? Yeah. I never realized how garbage the Irish were. Huh? I mean, what? it's, the, it's garbage. Yeah. Everybody's garbage. Yeah. No, everybody's garbage. Literally. No. I mean, the the last few weeks, I've been like trying. I've been just talking to people about my rage, and I'm mm-hmm. like blaming it on being Irish and all this stuff. Yeah. And they're yeah. Like, yeah. You know, I got similar rage issues because I'm Turkish. And like, <laughs> yeah. You know, just everybody is. Well, that's age. understandable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody blames their heritage. You know, sure. Their yeah. It's on, a, yeah. It's a on, human. That's what yeah. it's like. A human thing of like, oh, we're all fucking trash. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah no, I see so the Russian rage a lot. That really make that makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. It's understated. Yeah. I feel like a lot of times. 
that's quiet rage. Mm-hmm. We don't have things to bitch about. Like I was talking to somebody about well, this classic yesterday. Irish thing to say. Yeah, you know, yeah. we don't have real things to bitch about. <laughs> those Russians. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> else has valid co- yeah, reasons yeah, yeah. for being Could emotional. Could you imagine? Can you imagine being born in a small town in Russia the same year you were? You were born, born in fucking Wilkesbury, PA. What are you yeah, talking about? Yeah, we had candy and TV and shit like that. You lived on the Iron Curtain. Ah, we had freedom. Could you imagine no TV? Barely. No decent juice yeah. boxes? Yeah, I feel like you grew up in the movie October Sky. Ah, I didn't see that. <laughs> oh, it's a great thing. Gyllenhaal. I'm going to go home and watch it. It's a young Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a Gyllenhaal. Isn't it a Gyllenhaal? A Jill. Gyllenhaal? <laughs> I thought it was a Gyllenhaal. Long J. Long G. I thought it was Gyllenhaal, too. All right. You sound like a pretentious cunt. Yeah. Yay, yay, Gyllenhaal! Especially after I said it. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about You're talking about the, you're talking about fucking the, talking about the thespian, <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal. Is that what you're Jacques <laughs> Gyllenhaal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's good stuff. Too good. Too funny. Too good. We're having a good time. Mike Cannon, ladies and gentlemen. Stop cursing. Is our guest. I'm trying to stop it's cursing. The new special is out right now. It's on YouTube called Life Begins. I like I like the plug, but you're also acting like people just tuned in mid mid show. Yeah, like, replug that. Radio. Yeah, like you gotta, hey, we gotta reset the show on the eights, you know. We got weather coming up. Free does that on, on his podcast. He really does. I, I, yeah, think, it's great. I think it's well, pretty classy. Well, I think because people sure. do He's so a classy kid. People don't listen live, but sometimes they skip ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll jump especially ahead, especially, especially in the beginning and stuff. Well, and like, especially if you're Jared's show where he has segments. Ah, so that makes sense. And so I think he to get times them. out the segments in his description oh, so people can Oh, he does. I've seen it. So if, it's like yeah. at 16 minutes you can go here. So yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Bill people... Simmons does it too. It's a smart technique. But yeah. It just felt right. It's a lot of my labor podcast, intensive. Yeah, my podcast, Irish Goodbye Podcast, available mm-hmm. on iTunes today. Uh, that is also more free-flowing, full typical mm-hmm. yeah, to this yeah, yeah, one. Yeah. And so we have no... I saw the clip you just posted today. Of Were you too, Were you incredibly high? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you were incredibly... That was an editing trick, right? No. No, no. In the moment, like, so it's such a... It was, uh, oh, yeah, explain it. So explain we it. were, I forget what really we were talking funny. about, but we talked about so Feeney just, like, you know, expressing love and and sh- coming rainbows. Sure, yeah, And yeah. I just agreed with him, saying that that's the closest. It, it's like a rainbow shooting out of your asshole. Uh-huh. And Feeney, like, it, he just goes, I like dick. But there's the perfect length of pause in between. You go, it's like rainbows out of your asshole, and it pauses for, like, a half a second too long. You're yeah. like, what the fuck's going on here? And then he goes, I like dick. Like, yeah. That's it. It's great. And then well, it cuts back to you, and you're just like kind of like blinking like that. Because I let, I, no, I let him, I let it lay because I knew I wanted that isolated. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't process why he said it, and he tried to just move on. <laughs> yeah. And I turned to the producer, and, and I was like, what the fuck? I was like, can we cut that and just mm-hmm. have that as a drop at all times yeah, or yeah, something yeah. like? Because that was so. And Feeney's like, "What?" And then, <laughs> <laughs> then I just jumped in and said something about like how I like everything he also likes. Yeah, oh, dick. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Pink. Oh, uh, that's great. Too funny. Mike Cannon, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Cannon. Uh, Life begins is the special. <laughs> 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 Would just kill me? Yeah. Now, Jacob on the traffic. <laughs> <laughs> I said we get into the game. Let's play a little Are You Garbage? Let's get into the game, buddy. Yeah. Let's, Let's take a look. It. Let's find out about this dirtbag over here. <laughs> Rockland County, huh? Can I ask why you want to stop cursing? I want to stop cursing on stage. No kidding. Yeah. I'm leaning into it. What's the point? Oh, dude. Well, like, I why? Mean... It's what I am off stage. I curse a lot. I'm yeah, fucking, yeah. you know, not to fall on it, but it's like I'm a fucking trash. Like, I grew up with all, like, yeah. fucking steam fitters and plumbers. I grew up on job sites, so it's and, like. Uh, at this point. Hey, you fucking cocksucker. Like, that's yeah. all. That's what I grew up on. You're you're a potential NBC sitcom person. Yeah, you can still be the neighbor. Kevin and I have no hope no. for that. Yeah, you 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 fit a you fit a role. You fit like you're you're very you're a good actor. You're funny and gregarious in that setting. Kevin and I are. Uh, I feel like just uh, you know we gotta hopefully sell our personality. Sure. Um, <laughs> thanks for tuning in to Are You Garbage, ladies and gentlemen. I'll share something with you. When I was a little kid, this is how trashy I was. I always wanted to live on the set of one of those Disney shows. That's that, because that, your family that, sucks. That was like paradise. To As me. an adult, <laughs> <laughs> you'd be that producer. What's his name? Like, like, I feel like those pretty e- easy hunting. <laughs> yeah, I feel like those chicks were pretty hot and probably pretty dumb. <laughs> it's like living on a, in a preservation society. You know, going, going Farm hunting. grown, baby. <laughs> <laughs> like shooting fish in a barrel. Come on now. Uh, no, just like that reality just looks so appeasing. I think yeah. that's why I do like you know want to be on sitcoms. And stuff yeah, like when that. I was yeah. young, all I wanted to do was be famous. Like I didn't know what I wanted to be good at or yeah. anything like that. That's pretty. I just, yeah, I because I took hip hop dance classes. I wanted to be an in sync. Oh my! I would have God. taken the opportunity. Be, you to just be, answered one of the questions on here. Uh, like not not dance. by not but you were close. Was enough. it taught by some middle aged white woman like named Sally? No, it was a black woman. It was Aunt Soupy York. actually? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I would have taken getting molested by Lou Pearlman in a heartbeat. Yeah. 
yeah. to have my. You know, they seem like pretty good days when he hit, when the Perlman had all those guys. Yeah, yeah. That seemed like pretty good for them. I'd be in O Town. I mean, yeah, they didn't get I, any I'd, money, I'd, but I'd get plunged. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! Why right, did he make a grab at some of those kids? Uh, yeah, I think so. There was right? like there was a lot. Well, they uh, not all of them were kids. Like some of them were like at the point where like nineteen or twenty one or twenty two. Yeah, like Kevin from Backstreet Boys <laughs> was like forty eight. Yeah. the first time he and recorded. he would jerk all like he would like make passes at them or like you know there was like naked yeah. pictures. He'd be like, oh, can you? You know, hit my computer or something, and the screensaver was like, you know, his dick out. Or it was yeah, like yeah. weird, vague passes. I'm sure he was fucking some of those kids because he had like a group of them. Yeah, he had, yeah. A, group, he had a harem. He had, like, <laughs> he had multiple groups that he was then like pinning against each other. Yeah, like could've a been, real scumbag. Been, those been, are the days, the nineties, the nineties. Those are our eighties. Yeah, there you go. less blow. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends. <laughs> Theoretically, yeah, it depends if you were uh, working finance, financial services in the East Village. <laughs> Real Bay barn burner. Was, Bay the Coke was better than the 80s and 90s, too. Probably good Was time. better in the 80s? Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah. Of course. Because yeah. Yeah. nobody knew what it was. No. And I've then people were like, I can make more money off this. I've done pure uh, cocaine Ooh. once. And, like, you know, pure. So As, I'm sure it was, like, 40%. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it was, like, fish scale straight off of a boat, in my, uh, like, from Miami. Yeah. And my buddy had driven from Miami to New York. And, uh, I have so many man, friends like it that. Just, it was, like... Watching the foom thing go up the the piping in a mail, sure, the, yeah, in a yeah, mail, in a mail, in a post office, it just shot up your nose, and you're just like, well, I'm good for eight hours. <laughs> like, I will never blink. See you again. guys tomorrow. Wow. Yeah, you don't even have to do more. Yeah, it's great. wow, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, this has been cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> cocaine talk. This has you. been are you cocaine? Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk business. I got one right off the bat. All right, it's a little personal. Yeah, I'll ask you a question. I'm Do you sure. or any member of your family have an Audi? We did. We did when we had money. My dad had an A4 Quattro. No, not an Audi. Oh, you meant Audi belly button? Yeah, belly button. Oh, oh that's weird. I thought you meant the car, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I thought Audi that would made be sense. Classy. No, well, but Audi, Audi's kind of a car that it's like, I got a little bit of cash, and this yeah. is how I think rich people spend their money. Yeah, yeah. Real rich people don't have Audi. Oh, see, my, I, that didn't even occur to me. That's how garbage that's how, yeah. I am. I was like, I was like, my dad had a BMW. He had an Audi. He overextended himself quite sure. a bit. Yeah, yeah, And then, uh, yeah, it all came crashing down in yeah. the uh, crash of 03, right when I was heading off to college. So. <laughs> I'm talking. Right, I was a budding superstar. Yeah. I'm talking belly buttons. No, if you got an Audi. You're fucking. How, I don't trash. even know how that happens. No, no one my, in my family has. My them. doctor was good. He uh, is that. Is it a? Do- it's like a cut thing. I don't, I, know. I don't know. My son doesn't have an Audi because my wife has like a surface belly button. Yeah, so it's not an Audi. Yeah, it's not an innie. It's almost like cone. You know when it's stomach. an Audi. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you're a little kid and you yeah. see that kid at the swim club or fucking hanging uh, out, like a, yeah. be- a belly clit. Yeah, you're like. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> See? Garbage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, fuck, what just happened here? <laughs> Have you ever been to the strip club with a family member? Ooh, that's trash. No. No. So so this uh, this could be counteracted by how Irish and, like, Sure, yes. Is. Well, that's, yeah, yeah, no. I yeah. was the same way, but, and that's what made me think of it. I went out with a bunch of cousins and, like, yeah. brought my brother and stuff, and I was like, this is, oh, this is strange. Like cousin. This is strange. Maybe I've gone with my cousin. Yeah. But I don't know. I've I've gotten into fist fights with family oh, members. Of course. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah. I I may have gone to a strip club with my one cousin. I don't think so yeah. though, because I think the Irish discomfort with with sex sexuality that it's like you don't even like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah. That's how it always was for me. And then like I did I, I went to them. And I'm like this is yeah. And my brain, my, the two sides of my brain were like this. This is my family work out. especially. Man, I'm trying to like talk about it on stage, uh-huh. and I I don't know if I can get. Fully get across the potency of the discomfort. Oh because no! Yeah, of course. Whenever anything sex would be brought up, it, it it just like it felt like a molestation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. I remember like anytime like there would be like a yeah. sex scene on TV or something, I'd be like, I'm yeah. like, ah, oh, like change yeah. the channel or like, freak out. Oh, dude, freak so you could out. feel the tension in the yeah. room. Yeah, I why? saw my Did... sister's bra and came and freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. While well, she was wearing it, it was yeah, awkward. Yeah, yeah. It was it was cool. I I don't <laughs> ever remember like. I I know that being Catholic fucked me up. Mm. I know it. You know what I mean. And being Irish fucked. But I can't really pinpoint where. Like I don't remember. Any, it's un- I don't, it's I don't, not. It's I don't intangible. Can I raise my hand? Hang on. I don't that re- that is the most Irish Catholic thing. You saying you don't remember. Like I don't remember a priest saying sex is wrong. I don't remember mm. any it's, of that. It's all the like you know, kind of like how they say like microaggressions. It's all these little things over time, subconscious, yeah. all over time where like. Your parents have never been like have never mentioned sex, and anytime they did, they, or like something came up, they would all look away or change the subject. So it's like all these little things where, that 
you know, just kind of reinforce that that mentality. Even, even gotcha. if it's even if it's presented as like a secret thing, mm-hmm. like like ah, you know, whatever. Like we we can talk about it. Even if they sure. we could talk about it, but like you know, out of public view. That's a that's like a subconscious shaming that it shouldn't be spoken about. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It's taboo. Yeah, of course. Man, I think I'm more fucked up than I realize. <laughs> the only thing. Yeah, <laughs> you totally are, dude. The like, o- what the fuck? You you think you're even close to normal? Is crazy. The only thing specific I remember, and this this did like fuck me up was when I was getting confirmed, the teacher that we had that would teach us the lessons to, to, for confirmation, she t- I mean, she told us point blank, as we were learning, uh, she's like, if you don't say the, um, uh, forget, you know, not the act of contrition, something. One our of, Father? Or not Hail the Mary? Our Father, not the Our Father, but it was something. It was, you know, like, it was like, now you lay me down to sleep, but in a more serious... I pray for you, my soul. <laughs> Can you lay me down to sleep? <laughs> Fucking Metallica. Yeah. <laughs> no, but she said if we didn't say that, that prayer before we went to bed and we died in the middle of the night that we would go to hell. Oh, that's I remember yeah, that's true. That's, that's true. Yeah, yeah. That's like I mean, I, uh, that's I don't think it ha- happens, but in the true Catholic Church, by their rules. yeah, it's that's but true. But she told I was like in fucking fifth grade, man. Yeah, I, that like literally. Yeah, man, that'll me. fuck you up. Yeah, yeah. You know what I well, mean? Well, it's a religion, and all religions are this way. But religion is based on control. Sure. So that type of shit, it's. It's intentional. They're yeah, trying yeah, yeah. to fuck you up. So now they have the answer. You're like, oh, well, you got the answer. I'm looking yeah. at you. I'm looking at you. I'm well, and you. also they want to keep you scared. Of if course. If you're scared, yeah. then you behave. Yeah. Pretty smart. <laughs> Welcome, like to <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. All right. Uh, Kippy, what do you got? Have you ever worn Jenko jeans? Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> didn't even get the co out on that one. So this is this is how brutal I am. Uh, is, uh, Jenko... Wait. Also, have a follow up. Has there ever been a chain wallet connected to this? Yes. Oh. Yeah. There's been several different variations <laughs> of chain wallets. What I was also your used style to when you were a kid? What kind of kid were you? Because you uh, said you did hip hop dance classes. So yeah, I mean, I was just a kid that's been searching for an identity my whole life. Yeah, basically. I was kind of the same guy. I was like a skateboarder at one point. Yeah. I was like, a, I wanted to play golf. And yeah. I, was all over I went through the skateboarding phase like yeah. everybody else, but I mostly like kind of I wore basketball jerseys and stuff like sure, that. But once thing. that went out of style, then I wore Jenkos. But I only had what one... age was the Jenkos? Like eighth grade, I guess. Yeah, that's about seventh, right. eighth grade. Yeah. Probably maybe sixth through eighth, eighth ending it a little bit. Then I kind of got back into my sporty, yeah, sporty yeah, spice. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Jenkos, I, my family was such a piece of shit. Like, not even pieces of shit, but like everything I wanted, they always got me like the diet version. I know. I had Lee Pipes, which I was really yeah, upset about. Exactly. I wanted Jenkos and I got Lee Pipes. Dude, so I didn't even get those. I just got jeans. <laughs> like, they just got me jeans that kind of had a little bag like big to jeans. them, but yeah, they yeah, weren't yeah. even really big. And mm-hmm. then, like, I, I'd get like you know it, uh, I I was into rollerblading sure. and I was pretty good but fruit booting but the aggressive rollerblades they were 150 bucks so my parents would only spend a hundred yeah, and I'd yeah, get yeah, like yeah. shithole skates and, and you like, couldn't do what you wanted to yeah do. I'd have yeah. to take out the two middle wheels just that. even grind yeah. on them like <laughs> yeah, yeah. like that so I had one pair of Jankos that my buddy ended up borrowing mm-hmm. and then he cut the bottoms of them because they were too, too long, long for the, him <laughs> so I was like. Yeah, That's they're the mine. point, yeah, man. They're my pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the first they're my pants, pants, and they're supposed to be big pants to begin with. They're the first $50 pair of pants I ever they're, had. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. You're, yeah. B- if the bottom of your Jankos aren't muddy, you're not wearing you're them. You're not right. cool, dude, yeah. for sure. Ugh, so true. So you had, like, you know, flood water Jankos. Yeah, yeah, but I had, I think, you know what? I'm, now that I'm remembering, <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, ashamed of it. <laughs> no, <laughs> they weren't get it out. Did you to Insane Clown Posse? No, no, never. Uh, but I tried on Limp Biscuit for size. I tried sure. on corn for a little bit. My buddy Rob actually carved corn into his arm Corn was a Big one with the R. That R was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I had. I didn't even have Janko jeans. I had Janko khaki pants. (laughs) (laughs) Toward a a, a mess. Yeah, you know what I mean. Your Sunday's best for the for the douchebag. And the J was not the crown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The J with the the crown crown. that looked like graffiti. It was a so cool as an eight year old or eighth grader. It was so cool. It was a bubble letter J rainbow. Oh. Man, yeah, they fucking... were just the worst on every level. Yeah, you were failing at a lot of I things did. right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. I think I, they were like also available for twenty bucks in a sale rack. Sure, and, and that's, that's why the, my parents. That's got why. Them. That's what you got, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, my, I was the same way. We got the knockoffs too. I went on, this, I went on, I went on a skateboard. Do you remember? You guys were too young to remember this. The company Nash. Yeah, Nash yeah. Plastics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was like the trucks were plastic. Yeah, yeah. I had a, I had a, I had a Nash Locals only skateboard. It was literally, oh, yeah. it was literally like this fucking high off the ground. Like that's how <laughs> thick it was. <laughs> yeah, I had one too. <laughs> fucking impossible. Dude, to want to sound like a real fucking door? I didn't. Re- I, I wanted to get into skateboard. It was like I did get into skateboarding, but this like I got one of those at like Toys R Us or whatever. Like, yeah, like yeah. the plastic trucks yeah. and the plastic wheels. Yeah. And the, you know. So I was like, oh whatever. So then I started talking to kids in school and they were. 
were like, oh, you, what kind of trucks do you have? And I'm right. like, I don't know, but I fucking need new trucks, like, for <laughs> sure, bro. <laughs> We're become... go- I'm going home to get fucking trucks yeah. right now. So we went to the cool skateboard shop. It was called G Spot. Yeah, oh, that shit. And it was oh, a big yeah, purple yeah. building called G Spot. I went in and like the guys, like everybody's like, it was like a fucking skateboard shop out of a movie in the night in like early 2000s. And I walk in, I'm like, oh, he's, oh, he's like, what kind of deck you got? I'm like, oh, I didn't have, I don't have any of these answers. I really didn't know. I'm like, I don't know. Just a regular deck. We barbecue out there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It doesn't have an awning or anything. And we were, supposed to, we we're gonna get a hot tub, but my dad got laid off, so now we just have this big hole in it. <laughs> Fucking trash. I was like, I don't know. Kid. And he's like, Do you have like a you know a world industries? I'm like, I don't think so. And he's like, going to do all these. I'm like, I don't think so. He goes, and then finally he realized this guy is not a, this kid is not a skateboarder. He has no idea what the fuck yeah. he's like. Do you have a Nash? I'm like, Yeah, that's what I got. He's like, Yeah, these don't work from your board. I'm like. All right, I'll see you later. Man. <laughs> oh, what a fucking prick! Oh, wow, dude, I felt like such a what a jerk. Yeah, I was into BMX. Yeah, I tried. Fav- yeah, same my thing. My favorite movie was Rad. Uh, I never seen up. it, but somebody was talking about it the other day. Uh, well, it's probably me. <laughs> I, I named my son after the fucking lead character. So I Good movie falls Your son apart. had pegs on him too. I had a mongoose with pegs yeah. from the time I was four into my you know whatever. That's and really then I had trashy, like man. I had a dino. Dino oh, dinos were big. Yeah. Dino I, GT or yeah. something. Yeah, they yeah. were and, nice. And then when I played, uh, when I was playing poker and winning a lot of money, I bought a bunch of harrows. Like I bu- like Wait, how old were you playing poker? It was like eight, 18, 19. Really? Yeah, I played in like all these underground clubs. Yeah, in I the did city. the same. I did the same thing. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. had underground clubs that we wow. would go to. Yeah, that's Philly. really trashy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know how you know you know you're you're really fucking pure garbage when you make a lot of money in underground poker and then buy bicycles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what get, and build a ramp in your backyard <laughs> that. It, by Yo, you no want to come physics. over and ride the quarter pipe? Yeah, dude. I, I got bi- coping oh, on the top. I couldn't build a quarter pipe. I did this like out of spare wood from my dad's shed. <laughs> I've and done I that no, so many times. I made the thing too abrupt. Like the, <laughs> it's the like ramp. hitting a wall. I li- so I raced down. My dad was watching me. I think he knew. <laughs> he like, looked at the ramp. He's like, this kid's going to fucking eat it. And I'm like 19. I got 10. The kid eats it. <laughs> <laughs> He's bad with his buddies. Dude, it's like I drove face first into a wall. <laughs> yeah, and my yeah, front yeah. tire popped up. The whole bike popped up. I ditched the Fly. bike. Like in the yeah, air, yeah, yeah. and then I landed on a peg, sliced my oh. whole fucking ankle on the peg, and was just like, "That hurts so much." My dad's like doubled over laughing. <laughs> Your dad sounds like a great He's guy. A piece of <laughs> <laughs> we used to steal wood from construction that sites. That was and big. Build yeah, yeah, we would go to the there construction was like sites. The, the new neighborhood that was getting built behind your neighborhood, dude. The one this is we were so. My buddy moved into like the new Fucking neighborhood first, shit. right? So like he was like one of the first streets done. So we went in. They had to build the rest of it. So the one time we went, we were in the basement, and somebody took like a big five gallon bucket of caulk, and, like took the top off and just threw it on the wall. Like the house was, it was like a concrete wall, and just threw it on the wall. And then we just oh. went around and just started th- sticking stuff in it oh, for the next no. day. Dude, we were fucking. Oh no! Dude, we would caulk the the keyholes to like the bobcats closed and stuff. We were just fucking dickheads. <laughs> that is, I know. In the winter. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I got one for you. I got a question. Yeah, um, cue it up. Did you, all right, or any member of your family ever own a remote control car? <laughs> a good one. A yeah. good one. Like, yeah, like, yeah. A, like a trick one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we, had, we had a big monster Where you would, truck. like, work on it. And like you had to tinker with it. And stuff yeah, like a few that. times. Like it, it would get up to like thirty five. If you can quote the speed of yeah. your remote control car, <laughs> you're fucking uh, trash. It was from Sharper Image, though. I think. Uh, like, so right. it was, it was, it's teetering on the. This is also around our money. Was it an Audi? It was yeah. not <laughs> an Audi That's remote the control car. I've been car. talking about the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad had an Audi. <laughs> that was the uh, my dad had an Audi, a Beamer. <laughs> So, oh, that wasn't uh, an actual vehicle <laughs> yeah. for the family. No, I meant. Uh, oh, that's pure funny. Remote. What about ATVs? Your family ever get the ATV? <laughs> I, was, I loved ATVs as a kid. So we didn't own one as a kid, but my dad owns one now. Wow. wow. Yeah. Post divorce. That's and, that's a garbage pail kid made good right there. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Exactly. That is a Levittown <laughs> shanty who finally had his dream come true. Wow. But I've never ridden it. I've never seen it. Sure. I've never been invited to see it. <laughs> that's that's very <laughs> Irish Catholic. Yeah. We were always scared of them because in the eighties they were like real dangerous. They didn't have a lot of the They're safety. still dangerous. People <laughs> yeah. die on them. Oh, this, yeah. one, this one kid got paralyzed from riding one, so that was like the big story. Oh yeah. my god. Uh, you know, like you go near those things, look what happened to the <laughs> <laughs> Another fucking tool that kid's of, gliding around with a straw in yeah. his mouth. Another tool of fear, I guess. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Do any of your family members still smoke cigs inside? 
Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think uh, I think like people in my dad's side. So for yeah, sure. still cranking yeah. cigs yeah, yeah, like yeah. a on like a fucking green couch somewhere. in their car with oh, the windows oh. up. That type of shit. I mean, my uncle Johnny did all that stuff, and, but he died like before he could continue doing Rest that. Rest in peace, Johnny. Yeah, R.I.P. Johnny. But he's like he, he was ridiculous. Yeah. Like I mean, he was this guy. So this is this is <laughs> this is the two way street two Irish kids can go right. Sure. So my my uncle Johnny and my uncle Billy are in their west. Hold on, that is a pure indicator. If you have yeah. uncles with a well, you could have just called him Uncle John and Uncle Bill, but yeah, yeah. Billy John. Yeah, yeah, my uncle Tommy's coming over. Tommy, yeah. Tommy was another. He's gonna brother. do the cabinets <laughs> in my mom's kitchen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it, steals it's, her Percocets. <laughs> <laughs> So my uncle Johnny and uh, and Uncle Tommy and Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, see, it's, it's such but, a garbage, and it's an Irish. That's an Irish yeah. and Italian thing. And then my dad. Yo, Kevin. Nikki. Yeah, it's the worst. Yeah, uh, Kevin's are the worst. Yeah, they are. Kevinryancomedy dot com. Everybody. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Billy and Johnny were in the us, uh, uh, West Village apartment. Right, this is like in the eighties, mm-hmm. I think. Uh, and uh, so it's kind of rough, rough neighborhood still to this day. Oh, dude, they're uh, like, fuck. It was like downtown Beirut at yeah, that time. Dude. So they're taking the elevator on their Barrow Street apartment, which is now like unbelievable yeah, yeah, beautiful yeah, yeah. right barrow street apartment they take the elevator down to the first floor and they notice that a, a woman and a guy are standing there and the woman looks a little in distress like mm-hmm. she just looks uncomfortable and the mm-hmm. guy is kind of like you know looks like a sketch ball almost homeless type looking sure dude. so my uncles are like oh shit i forgot my keys upstairs i'm gonna head back upstairs and so they stay in the elevator and the guy and the woman get in the elevator and the dude pulls a gun on both of them ah. pulls a gun gets all of them into this apartment right makes my uncle uh, makes my uncle uh, Billy mm-hmm. tie up my uncle Johnny. Jesus, and Jesus. And then the guy ties up my uncle Billy. My uncle Billy tied up my uncle Johnny loose, though. Sounds right? like the porn I watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brothers, <laughs> double team assailants. Trashy, <laughs> <laughs> trashy brothers. The woman doesn't even get involved. Yeah, they just yeah. Fuck the yeah. dude with the gun. Yeah. So, so my uncle it gets tied up loose, right? Jesus. And then the guy is about to rape the woman. Ah! Right in front of both, so he he like starts to try to rape them or rape her. My uncle fucking Johnny gets bur- out, bursts out. Yeah, r- r- here we go. Here, here we, we go. go. Runs up to the guy, hits him. The dude shoots him in the stomach. What? Shoots him in the stomach. My uncle Johnny keeps Punching. beating the shit out of him. That's all that Irish the guy, repressed the, rage. The guy loses the gun. My uncle grabs it. He puts it in the guy's fucking mouth. And my uncle Billy is like, Johnny, don't do it. Don't kill him. <laughs> don't fucking kill him. He's like, oh, God. I'm gonna tell you. That's such a trashy brother thing to say. Daddy, don't do it. It ain't worth it, man. <laughs> don't do it. Think of the kids. Think of Marie and the kids. Don't do it, Daddy. Daddy, don't do it. Daddy. Oh, daddy. <laughs> We got the communion next week. Don't do it, Johnny. <laughs> so, so he like Johnny. Think of little Mikey. You know, take those jeans. You know he's gonna love him. He's gonna need his uncle Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Don't come on. We'll just take turns on the broad. Get out of here. Come on. Don't do it, Johnny. <laughs> Why is it always like like he did have every right to shoot the guy? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, but he didn't. He ended up not like it, it took some coax. Johnny's got a conscience on him. So my my uncle so Timmy's got the conscience. Billy Johnny, Johnny who gives re- a fuck. Johnny's ready to oh, fucking yeah. cut loose. So they all Billy they, Bobby Tommy Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> You're like fucking Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> It, they they get written up in the paper. It's like this big, big thing, right? Yeah, yeah. My uncle Billy. They're heroes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My uncle Billy becomes a cop. The guy who didn't get shot. Yeah. He watched it. Coax. They talked him out. No, like he, yeah, he's yeah. like, I'll never be that hopeless. Uh, that that hopeless again. Wow. Like I, I'm gonna become a cop. My uncle Johnny became a, a drug, drug addict. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> 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 he started, yeah, he started holding people up and of shit. Of course, yeah, I mean, yeah, I yeah. smoked weed with him before yeah. he died. I also, he scarred from it. Yeah, he was scarred. Yeah, I yeah. mean, he has trauma. He had trauma Sh- before. Yo, that we got a fucking treatment on our hands. We're yeah. not even releasing this. I don't want to waste steal this. <laughs> I like that Jake Gyllenhaal for Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> that right hey, Yake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> <laughs> Yake. <laughs> oh, that's, that's fucking good. Great. Yeah. What a story, dude. Yeah, it's Holy crazy, right? Shit. I know. It's wild. That's fucking awesome. Boy, yeah. Dude, the cop. one guy becoming a – I can see him, like, looking in the mirror. Oh, and now like, he's a comedian. <laughs> ah! Yeah, yeah, of course. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I can see him funny. looking at his wife or his, like, Debbie, I got to do it. I got to become a cop. <laughs> it's my duty. Well, that's, like, another trash thing is, like, uh, two of them – so – since I started doing comedy and doing okay, uh-huh. two of my uncles oh, started Lee comedy. Oh, Like, I can do comedy. My, and, and one of my dads. And my dad went back to acting, That's which good. is the classic. This idiot like, can do like, it? Like, Irish. Yeah, yeah. There's one way out of it. This, yeah, this yeah, fucking yeah. loser can do this. Yeah, I can yeah, fucking yeah, do yeah. this. 
I think that's the same with Brian Regan. He's got like two brothers that do comedy yeah. as well. Yeah, like, yeah. This guy's doing it. I got you know. <laughs> Makes sense. I'm funny. Is your yeah. pop working? Is he working? No, I mean he's a, he he's back a, selling stocks in East Village. He no, does I mean, a commercial. He he's on a commercial right now nice. for like old Tinder. I don't know what it's called, but uh, it's yeah, it's just his dusty hair. Like oh, I can try to get pussy again. <laughs> <laughs> now I got this one out of the house. I can get laid yeah, again. I can <laughs> stick my Irish knuckles in a lady again. <laughs> <laughs> Snatch dot com. Check it out. <laughs> um, do you have any uh, any lottery winners in your family? Not my family, but my wife's family. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is she trash? Same no, area. I mean, she's Italian. Yeah, but, but just like was... just normal Italian trash. Yeah, 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 yeah nothing normal. too crazy. And her, her family has has. It's not trash. It's just like it's like weird Italian stuff. Mm-hmm. It's just funny. To, sure. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's funny. Just to weird work cultural thing. Yeah, 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 the Italians it gets very murky. Yeah, it gets yeah, very yeah. It's very murky. I got a couple that you kind of already answered, or from the stories already, I probably know the answer. Okay. Um, has, an uncle, it, has an uncle ever been shot in the stomach <laughs> while witnessing a rape in a West Village apartment? And has that said uncle ever gone to be a drug addict and the other uncle want to be a cop? Mike Cannon, yes or no? <laughs> Anyone in your family have ever been involved in a pyramid scheme? Uh, yeah, for yeah, sure. I yeah. Just, I'm sure. I don't know. You probably don't even know, but yeah, no, those answers you've already I mean, given. I'm pretty sure everybody, <laughs> yeah, including oh, yeah. the cop. <laughs> Does anyone in the Cannon family own a timeshare? Oh. Um, oh, that's a good question. Yes, at some point, for <laughs> somebody. Sure, yeah. Yeah, my, yeah. my uncle Jimmy, he became a stockbroker, uh, and he just like made a shitload of, of money yeah, yeah, yeah. instantly. Mm-hmm. Like instantly, was really Man, good it was on the wide phone. open back. He then. also like he's one of the nat. He's like he's like a naturally funny dude. One of the funniest people I've ever met. He mm-hmm. did stand up twice, killed, and was like, I beat. The I game. think you told me about yeah. that. Like, why would I keep doing this? You guys are fucking idiots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I don't need this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this I right can do this. So it, when he got rich, he bought like a boat immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Timeshares up the ass all that. That That's always the kiss of death, man. That's why yeah. I asked you about the lottery thing because there was like one or two really big lottery winners in Wilkes-Barre that like our family knew. Yeah. And one was the DeMilliers. <laughs> this kid, Bobby DeMillier. That's a trash uh, name right dude, there. He went through like $2.5 million in the 80s in like three <laughs> weekends. <laughs> three weekends. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, we all kind of hit the lottery because we're white. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I recognize my privilege. Yeah. Um, has anyone in your family ever applied to be on a reality TV show? I have. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Uh, I mean, probably Real World, I think. Yeah. Like, oh, you know, my. Yeah. Hey, what's up? This is Mike. Oh, I wanted dude. To, I wanted I'm to be, wacky. I'll be in the house. I want to see that tape. Be, yeah, I wanted to be, like, good-looking and funny so, so bad. So bad. And I just didn't know that my mom and my everybody in my family was, like, just telling me how attractive I was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, And it's just like, guy? It's, yeah. I'm fine, fine, but I'm not Zach Morris. Sure. I'm not, like, you know. You're not, I, like. I'm not Yake Hillen. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You're I'll not going to get cast as the hot guy. Yeah, of course. But you're an attractive guy. I'll be one. D, or yeah, you know, yeah, I'll yeah. be his friend that like kind of gets pushed. Sure, when yeah, the chick's drunk yeah, or something. Course, you know, okay. I don't know. I disagree. I could see you getting cast as the, the hot guy. I appreciate it. My little right. movie, you will be. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Hanky's Watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got another. Um, you kind of, I, I know the answer to this for sure. I think. <laughs> have you ever wanted to be a rapper? And follow up: Have you ever bleached your hair? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, so. I don't know, rapper kind of like sure. I, I'm. I'm super into hip hop. Sure. I love... Well, when you said I took you took a hip hop dance class, I'm like, yeah, I, yeah. yeah it's, but you I also be a like, like when I went, I played basketball my first two years of junior college. Sure. And I was one of two white junior kids. college. That's a overachiever, right? There. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's because my dad lost all his money in the O3 collapse. Yeah. So my sister got to go to Indiana University, and I got to go to Rockland Community. Oh, here's great things. I, I, had, I had an okay. It actually is a good school for those who use it correctly. Because I, <laughs> it really is because it's. Did they pay places. you to say that? Yes. Yeah. It's I went to community th- college for a semester. It's not too shabby. But it's one it's of just those a couple pla- of weeks ago. Just, you just smoke cigs. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So th- it's, it's high school with cigs. <laughs> that's exactly yeah, what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. That's so funny. A lot but, of good-looking girls went to community college. I remember. Yeah, and they're dults. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they end up as career waitresses. <laughs> <laughs> they all drove Shirakos and fucking like. <laughs> what the fuck's a Shirako? <laughs> it's like a shitty hatchback car. Long and story I- short, I uh, was. I was one of two white kids. I uh, had an identity crisis. Sure. I, I wanted to be as urban as humanly possible. Of course. Possible. Well, that's what you're surrounded by. Yeah. Like, if you're like, oh, this is my, you know. Yeah, I wore Pele Pele jeans with patches. Rock I had triple that Pele X Pele. I had white on white Air Force Ones. And Air I, uh, for a little while, I had a white 
like shave like... tape up with the with the shape up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girls thought I was Puerto Rican because I could dance. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but you didn't correct them. Hey, uh, Miguel. Yeah, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. And uh, then I the next year I my had mom's cornrows. Carrie, my dad's from San Juan. <laughs> <laughs> The, my cannon is the Irish boy. <laughs> That's great. We never yeah. seen nobody dance like that. Johnny, no! <laughs> <laughs> Just freezes. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that Kid good. who defied the wow, odds. Wow, can you come with me to my next pitch? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I need help harnessing this stuff. God, and you bleach. When did you bleach your hair? That was all, probably like M- up. Oh, that was like yeah. Eminem. Eminem really did Middle that, school. dude. Like we were like when he dropped, you went into school the next day, and yeah. everybody had bleached hair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but my real slim shady. Yeah. But we, first, my mom did do like we always did the diet thing. Like, oh, you're not bleaching your hair. Right, right, right. We started with sun in, and I'm like, I look sun like, is awesome. I look like a fucking loser, lady. <laughs> Let's get. The, plus, I got this plastic skateboard. This ain't going yeah. well for me. Sun in always made me want to have a glass of lemonade because I had a little lemonade on the, on the mm. cover. Oh, yeah, so much of a fat I'm like, I, you're spraying like yeah, you're spraying in your hair, and I'm hanging out outside for nine hours yeah. as, an, as a pale Irish kid. They didn't I mean, really turn out. I guess it might have been a conspiracy to just get kids outside. It could, it could have been. Maybe that's what Michelle Obama's campaign was missing. Well, sun in. Sun in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, uh, get I, these wiggers <laughs> to want to want to be rappers <laughs> outside. <laughs> I would bleach my hair and then jump in the pool and it would turn green. Like that happened oh, to yeah, me Yeah, I remember that. That yeah, was yeah. a thing where it would turn green. So I'd have to shave my head and then restart. restart yeah, Why, yeah. the green wasn't cool? Uh, it just it, looks It doesn't ridiculous. look, yeah, yeah. It, turns, it's like it a yellow, like an yeah. algae pool. Yes, exactly, mm. exactly. It's not a good look, especially if you want to be M&M. Yeah. Fair enough. I think I got one Nobody more. Nobody likes green M&Ms. <laughs> you got one, Foley? I like them all. Um, <laughs> yeah, did you, uh, did you have braces when you were a kid? I did, yeah. On yeah. your legs? <laughs> <laughs> run, Michael, run! <laughs> you got braces? I did, yeah. What was the name you? of your orthodontist? Oh, I don't know, but he was on drugs, dude. <laughs> dude there was a thing about the 90s orthodontist where mine was, fast and loose. Dude, mine was in his house. You yeah. would just like park in his driveway. Oh there would be like Do a dog. There I'm was like, a lot of that. It was wide yeah. open back then. Yeah. What the fuck? I'm like, is anybody watching these fucking Not guys? Even Dennis, too. Yeah, just doing it, at the, were, doing it at the so crib. so weird. My guy was sucking so much gas. Like, he was an oh, older. Dude, they always He was did. like 65, between 65 and 70. Like, an older guy. That's too old, I and, feel. And he, but he, he wore it. Like, he was fine. And he was with it, and he seemed short and all that shit and then one day like I showed up and he just had jet black hair yeah and just, just never addressed, addressed it. it and was high as a kite and was taking off my rubber bands and putting on new ones and was so fucking blazed he put he took Got the rubber it. band and it came through <laughs> my mouth so he he, he hooked you and it went through like he was piercing my lip what took it out and just was like oh, oh. and mopped it up and told his assistant to finish and I just didn't yeah. Get anything that like was, nothing happened. That would not that would never happen now. Through your lip? Through like the bottom of my lip, it went through all the way through. It was so he like yanked it so violently, it pierced that much fucking. And he was tissue. on fucking Pluto at the yeah, time. Yeah, and he was yeah, he was on just yeah, fucking, just a wild guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel like with ortho- jet black or- orthodontist in the eighties and <laughs> out of nowhere. Yeah. And it's like Lee he's sweating, so <laughs> it's, it's sweating, like yeah, yeah. on his Sun in, buddy. You should have got sun in. <laughs> I think orthodontists in the 80s and 90s were, like, they were just playing it fast and loose. Well, I don't think it was, like, it was, because it wasn't, like... That was a lot of cash being... A lot of cash, and it was, like, not checked in, because it was, like, kind of, like, elective if you went to, like, an orthodontist. Like, you didn't always have to go to an orthodontist. So it was, like, oh, I do this in the garage, you know what I mean? It was, like, very fucking... Yeah. Well, and what a like Under what, a, the radar. what a racket because since then, you know, then it was an elective thing that you know, if you wanted to look better, this sure. is what you do. And now they're like, if you don't have yeah, straight teeth, your, your head's gonna fall off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of like, course. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got one last question, Kippy? I got one more. Let's see. What do we want to do? I'm still here? on the fence. I'm not sure if Mike is garbage or not. But to, <laughs> well, then the I got I got I got two quick ones for you. Have Perfect. you ever celebrated a birthday at an Applebee's? Uh, to, nah, Dave and Buster's. Ooh, that's Recently, weird. while doing coke. All right, he's in. He's in <laughs> on a Monday. <laughs> that was our spot in the, in the afternoon. Dun, 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 dun. In it's the, just in. He's fucking trash in the Palisade Center. Oh, buddy, yeah, where wow. Levity Live is. Yeah, we used to go there Monday nights and just get two for ones, play video games, and just be like, <laughs> dude, we did that with two bowling. for one, gacked out, Bags of coke? two for one drinks, drinks. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The bowling good. alley would do that too. It was like dollar beers, mm-hmm. and we would all just go get like fucking plots. Yeah. I don't know if your coke dealer had a happy hour or something. Like that. <laughs> Come for, on down, two for ones. Uh, balls. Two for go. one key bumps. Let's do it. We paid full yeah. price. <laughs> Probably extra. Yeah. Good All shit. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Are You Garbage with our good friend Mike Cannon. Just Thanks one more me. time. You can hear him every week on the Irish Goodbye podcast. 
And he has a special out right now on YouTube called Life Begins. Mikey, you have anything else uh, that you want to plug? Maybe long term? Uh, the album's coming out oh, also. that's right. This Friday. I, I don't know when this is Wait, this will be out but... on uh, Monday, so a week from today. Okay, perfect. So, so the album is out now. Life Begins. Watch Go the special it. on YouTube. That's free. It's got about 30 minutes of stand-up, and then the album has about 25, 27 more minutes. Buy go. that, support, stream it, whatever the fuck you got to do, and uh, thank you. You know, at I Am Mike Cannon social media. I watched the special. It's really cool. You did it in a fucking awesome way. First of all, you did it yourself, so it's yeah. like, if you do support comedy, I'm you, a lot of you probably already know Mike, but um, if you do support comedy, go check it out. It's really he did it himself. It's really funny, and the way you did it is really cool with like the oh, inner thanks, with like man. the other inner stitches yeah. of like the, yeah, the yeah, bigger Colin comedian, Quinn, Jim Norton, Bobby Kelly, Rich Voss, Keith Robinson. Robinson. It's fucking literally five Brendan of my Sagalow. favorites ever. Brendan Sagalow. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it really drops off. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I left him out of it. Well, I that's thought, why I started I th- with him. Yeah, that's good. I thought Sags was great in the beginning. He was so when, good. It's just it, yeah. that one little face that he makes when you tell him the story. Yeah, again. his milky you guys gotta watch it. It's yeah, footing, but it's yeah. really funny. Check it out. Support him. He, 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 it's it's really good. I, 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 it, I, I, I watched it. It was great. Thank you very much, Kippy. Guys, uh, KevinRyanComedy.com. Uh, Kevin Ryan Comedy on all social media. And as well as, guys, please rate and review this podcast on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, wherever you listen to the podcast. It's important that we do it uh, in the first week. Um, and tell tell a fucking friend. Share with somebody, you know, God damn it. Yeah. HFoley.com. You can also follow me at uh, Instagrams on Foleygrams and uh, on Twitter at HFoley on Ice. <laughs> There's nothing on that on that website. By Foley the way. key bumps. <laughs> I Googled it. It doesn't even come up. As, his, does web- come his website doesn't come up first if you Google it. That's how fucking... Who, who made that for you? Uh, Tyler. Trash. All right. <laughs> Listen, guys, please, like Kippy said, shut the podcast, rate and review it, subscribe. We love you, Mike. Thank you so much. Thank Goodbye. You. See you. Ooh. Got Steve.